said, I, I, I have rejoiced in doing it in the way of that testimony as much as in all riches. Yeah, glory. Help me, Lord Jesus Help Christ. Me, Lord. I will meditate in thy precept. Yeah. I have respect unto thy way. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on. Come on. And they go hard all night, they go take a test and pass it, no problem. Uh -huh. But we as children of God, we have to study, we have to consult uh -huh. God, and we be uh -huh. struggling. But you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, we gonna give praise to God when we pass it to him. See, they give praise and they smoke. But praise God, the Bible said, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Come on, somebody. Uh -huh. God, one and four. If any man five, if any man delights wisdom, let him acts of God that give it to all men liberty. I know how to go to God and ask him to help me. That goes, I know his word. I got to know how to petition him. Go somebody. I got to know how to put him in the ministry of his word. Man, I go to Psalm uh, uh, 41. He said, On your bed, a language that was strengthening you. 41 3. Are you listening to me? He said, I'll make all your beds in the time of your sickness. Give God some praise. You got to know this, man. But you got to know how to put it in. Because if you don't come one day, it's, you going to need it. But if you don't have it, you don't misspin it and, and mess it up. And then, how you going to put God in your bed? How are you going to put him in? Your cell phone, that's all you know. Mm -hmm. Like the dumb preacher up there mm -hmm. with his cell phone. You'll see him. Don't look at me, though. I just hold my head down and say, praise the Lord. Come there, up there, make something go. Huh? Dumb preacher, pull the cell phone out. I ain't got what I'm doing my cell phone with him. I ain't never walked up in this place. Amen. Not one time. If I do, I tell Brother William I'll take it back to the car. So I somebody might still. They can have it in. <laughs> they can't do nothing with it. I got it locked up, baby. Yeah, I, like this, it's locked up. I got the key to it. Come on, somebody give God some praise. Amen. You know what I'm saying? I need to hear pages. Yes. The scrolls ain't written on that. The scrolls is, is rolled up, brother. Mm -hmm. I ain't seen the six or six books is 75 feet long. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right. You need to study it. You need to know. The preacher needs to be able to show you scriptures and bring them, not try to manipulate you with them, to try to make you do what he wants you to do. I want you to please God. And if you please God, then you have got it. Come on, Look what Peter them say. Uh, well, well, let me go over here to Acts. Praise God. Are you listening to the sixth chapter? Can we go to Acts 6 chapter? Just for a second. And we move quick, quick, quick. We move. Let me tell you something what God was showing me, Sister Mother Grace. He was showing me what well, I know from churches, what they'll do. Do you hear me? Amen. They're going to make sure they turn out of church so quick so they can get back home and play that football and basketball. Yes, sir. They do. That's right. They got no power. That's what they want to do. Hello? They don't have time to counsel you. He said, hey, I need to talk to you. Call me next week sometime. Wow. Set you an appointment. Ain't got 10 people. Huh? They're not going to stay around. They got to get back to, uh, I was at the hospital one day praying for some people, and the preacher came, and he said, look, his wife said, look, I got to get back home and wash my leg. I got time to pray for him and get Let's go. Yeah. I like that. See, that's some of them dumb dogs. That's some of them ignorant. Yeah. Hmm? See, you don't believe me because I'll be talking about your friends and then you get mad. Amen. 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 Your reverence. Yeah. Amen. What we said we're going somewhere? Yeah. Acts 6. Yeah. Watch up. Acts 6. 6 6. Yeah. Amen. One of these days we're going to find the name of Jesus and we're going to show you something the numeric value of it is 888, which is good, good, good. Yeah. Amen. 
Amen. Are you listening? Amen. And we show you Satan will figure it out and graduated out to 666 bad. Amen. Are you listening? Watch this what I'm saying. Can we, can we go to Act 6 right there? Put it on your screen. You got it on your screen? Thank you. Put it on your screen now. Thank you, Jesus. You see that? It's in those days, this is why I get one of those brothers straight and some of these dumb, and they go to dumb preachers again. It says, in those days, when the, when the number of disciples was multiplied, there arose a mother of murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews because their widows were uh, naked, naked in the day of administration. In other words, they were giving out food and stuff and so on. And, you know, yeah, they all feel the Holy Ghost, but the devil has tried to come in and always, you know, uh, put a little something in there and make you mad. Because God knows, this is what God knows. If you go back to the book of Acts and you see the second chapter and you said they was all in one place in one accord. That means they're all in unity. When you get see the devil does not want you to have any unity. Right. Because he knows the Bible says that any house that, that's divided is not going to stand. Yeah. And this is what his objective is to divide and then conquer. Yeah. But we are too dumb to understand what the Bible said. We're not even over there in the second Corinthians 2. Praise God in verse number 11. We're not even a saving Bible, Amen. okay? Amen. Why are we doing it? God's and told us we're not doing it. Why are you coming here looking like a chest can not get upset with me? Did you come to hear the word of God? Hello here. My God, preach to yourself then. Thank you. I don't care. That's your business. You'll go to hell. And y'all ain't there, amen? I didn't want to say Move quick. It's a, in, in the twelve called the multitude of disciples under, under them and said, it is not reason that we should should need the word of God and do what? <laughs> and his people, we've been in these churches, they come in, pray with all they ain't been on no office, man. I'm probably here. Yeah. <laughs> One preacher told me, he said, I need you to come in here and raise the money for me. <laughs> I said, what are you talking about? <laughs> I, I, you got my attention messed up. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? See, you didn't know. I'm just going to tell you. I never tell you to play. I'm going to tell me to do that stuff. You're talking to the wrong guy. You can't put no, no job in my back and tell me to do some crazy fool stuff like that. You see, I said, I told that one brother, shot there, go, you're going to go, 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 Oh, I said, what's wrong with your mind, bro? And you need to study the scripture and see what it says about that. Man. I don't believe that stuff. That's the truth. What's wrong with your mind? Anyway, watch what? I'm going by the word of God. You know what it says? What it says? It is not reason for us that we should lead the what? And do what? And you said, what did it say? Lead what? The, the preacher lead the word of God. Go to the birthday party. Jesus. Go to football game. No. Huh? Take him two weeks, take two months vacation. No. I was telling you, my, my daughter, we went by this place yesterday. Is it okay to say yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to with me. So I'm okay, I'm speaking bad language and using bad English. I'm a bad English man anyway. <laughs> Praise God. Oh, so. Thank you. Anyway, the, the preacher over there, he built, he built some more to the church. He's called, we don't need to have a, I mean, y'all wearing me out. We had these three services. Here. So he built some more to the building. And uh, built some more to it. And the people kept coming. He's, I'm sick of it. He's, I'm sick of it. He's, me and my wife, we just take out one. We're going to skin it for a month. Somebody else get with y'all. Hmm? That's one of the people. They steady coming. Niggers. And white folks just running around, look like alligators, huh? Naked as jaybirds. Hello. He told me this was the people coming to old man. Then he told me they said, "Man, he said he said he was tired of us." <laughs> I look at my and see why. <laughs> Are you listening? Yep, yeah, indeed. Move quick. I got one. Are you listening? You said he said. We should lead the word of God and serve David. Mm -hmm. Are you listening? Mm -hmm. What? Wherefore, brother, look out among you. 
Seven means honest report, full of the Holy Ghost. That takes every Baptist church off the mark. The deeper lower they'll come and deeper and never got the Holy Ghost. They don't need the Holy Ghost. What are you talking about? We got the Holy Spirit. <laughs> You walk in the back of the church, you have to sign up. We the people led by the Spirit. Now, who wrote that foolish stuff up? Who in the sand that you don't come over with a fool and put it on the wall? And nobody in there can quote it. Am I telling you the truth? Tell me, we these people live by, you know, you say about a spirit, not this spirit. Right. You ain't believe it. Are you listening? Mm -hmm. no, Lord. Mm -hmm. Got it on the wall. It don't even have a Bible. <laughs> but got some foolishness, some foolish money they put on the wall. And nobody paid no attention to it. No. If you ask anybody now, I give you one million dollars. If you look at, tell me what's on there and don't look at it. Some of them dumb dogs. Amen. Amen. Greedy preachers. Amen. Amen. Loving this lava. They cannot bomb. They love this lava. Mm -hmm. Love it. They ain't gonna be for your lives. They ain't gonna be for your lives. They ain't gonna be for your lives. I just stopped by. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. What is this? <laughs> Sometime. I don't know them all, but I can tell you, I know the one that does. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Amen. But if you don't study, yes. we come here, you don't never come here without this hearing this word. Amen. I'm going to pray with your soul. Amen. Read a couple of scripture cards going, how is it going on? Here? <laughs> I'm going to be a school teacher. Okay, school teacher, I don't know how you do it. Just to tell the children, okay, we're going to turn to Dick and James and Dale and pay so and so. Okay, Dick and James went to the hill and Jill fell down and closed the head. And I go out. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, don't forget Zeke and Spock and all this. <laughs> and we got to go, hey, yo, and Zeke. <laughs> Let me move quick. My God, I'm going to get through it, man. Thank you, Jesus. Now, you're going to find this in this Bible, man. You're not going to find it outside. Wait to see. Therefore, brother, look out. Amen. In other words, don't mean to be seek. Out among you, seven men, on this report, ain't no Baptist preacher ever get this. <laughs> Full of the Holy Ghost. And what else? We will. Who we may appoint what? But we will give ourselves what? And what? I'm ministering of the word. I said, brother, you need to read the scripture. Oh, oh, I don't play that. You hear me? Don't do that stuff. You're not going to. Let me tell you, I'm not like you. You can't hold me hostage to, to foolishness. I love you. He ain't holding me hostage to it. I won't do that. I ain't doing it. You built that woman being in the pulpit. I'm, I'm, I, I just left. Huh? 
Baptist up there singing in the choir. I ain't coming. I'm leaving. Do you hear me good? Oh, you listen to me. I'm an apostolic preacher. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Now, you can get upset, your family can get upset, your dog in your hall. Amen? That's your opinion. But now, those, those Catholics down there, don't nobody be out of a Catholic. The Mormons, the Jehovah's Witnesses, they do not invite. Now, I believe what I believe, but you're not going to tell me you got the same Bible I got, and you do it your way. Are you listening to me? I ain't going to deal with it. I ain't going to deal with that. I'm not dealing with it. I said, I'm not going to deal with it. I'm not dealing with it. I'm going to believe what I believe according to the scripture. Yes. But you're not going to push me and don't hog tie me and, amen, and try to convict me. Well, you know, we, you know, y'all just have church so much. You can do something and come over with us. <laughs> you know, I just tell them, I know you scared me. I said, let me tell you. Can, I said, this is seven times you can ask me. I just been in front of me. Let me tell you what I think about you. Go to hell. <laughs> You're no Christian. You're no Christian. You don't go tell nobody to go there. I don't know how you know. Show me the way I'm going. Huh? Huh? Thank you, Jesus. I'll tell you what you do. Let's see what Jesus said. Let's go there to Matthew 5 and verse 11. And let's look at verse number 20. Can we do that? Now, look, this thing is. And don't, don't get all upset with me. Amen. Are you listening to me? Amen. Can we read that? You see it in your screen. I'm going to be quick before I make you even mad. Amen. I'm moving. I'm talking about the word of God. Look what Jesus said. He said, For I say unto you, do you see that? I see it. That except your righteousness exceed the righteousness of the Pharisees, you shall in no case enter where? So where you gonna be at? Huh? <laughs> you can't get there. Hello. I, I ain't gonna go through all this because I want I want I want to turn it down just a little bit now. But except your right to see the righteous of the Pharisee, you uh, you also you can't get there. You can't bring your own righteousness. Here you go to people. Well, I don't think that. You can't vote on what God has said. You're going to vote it and just because all of you here with it don't make it. That's what it's doing. Most people They got dialogue. That they are written by the devil. Been written by. They want the word of God said. Well, we all agree on Will you agree that God is 20 feet tall and 8 feet wide? You find <laughs> out. Are you listening to me? See, what you have to do when you know what you're out there with God, you always have to have a teach of a spirit. And it, 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 it begins with a respect for the word of God. See, if you don't have no respect for the word of God, then you would not have a teach of a spirit. See, because you got these know-it-all folks, because they got some college, and they think they have some knowledge. Y'all, the college don't mean nothing to you. Huh? Hey, brother, when y'all bury somebody, do you put all their degrees up in the car for wood, and they ain't going to help them? They ain't standing about it. Get sick and go to the hospital, and they calling me, and I guarantee they won't put them degrees up on that water. If they do it, you don't waste your time. Jesus. You go up there to St. Dominic's hospital, you got all them pictures of somebody. Yeah. Or yeah. a crawl. I said, man, what's that? Oh, I don't look at that stuff. <laughs> if Jesus is still on that cross, then I'm a dead man. Amen. Huh? Amen. I said, Jesus is still on the cross, I am dead. Amen. 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 Ain't no sense of me doing nothing. Amen. But do like Solomon said, drink, be merry. Because I'm sure <laughs> Help me, Lord Jesus. But the 15 verses again. I, I like this. I love because I, 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 I love that 15, that 14. Verse. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimony. See, there's some as much in, in, uh, as much 
as in all riches. Yeah. God exalted above it. Amen? Yeah. Me and me and Colin got to talk about this. Because he loved a whole lot of money. Your money can't save you. Amen? I know you got a lot of other Nothing but a thousand dollar bill. Uh -huh. Amen. Just wow. look at all y'all should be pretty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm he said, I will meditate in the precept and I have respect unto thy word. I will delight myself in the statue and I will for not forget what? Give God to me. I won't forget you. 